Hello and welcome to My Astronomy Nights. I'm Derek and in this video I'm looking at NGC 4631 The Whale Galaxy. Now the Whale Galaxy is located in the constellation of Canes Venetizi. This is a small constellation under the handle of the Plough or Big Dipper Asterism in Ursa Major. Now Canes Venetizi is really well placed this time of year. It culminates due south around midnight and it has two bright stars so it's easy enough to locate the constellation but all the other stars in this region are under magnitude 4 so it can be quite tricky to star hop around it but um, we'll take a look and see how, uh, the best way to locate this galaxy. So I found the best way of locating this was to find Cor Caroli and Dinebola in Leo and then find the halfway point and that's a, in that region there's a, quite a few stars but the brightest one of those is magnitude 4 Gamma Coma Berenices. And then I used this and Corcoroli, and I found just under halfway there's a pair of bright stars around magnitude five or six. And that pairing, then you just want to go about two degrees to the southeast of that pairing. And in that direction, then you'll see that sliver of the whale galaxy, the first thing you'll pick up, and then you'll notice that the hockey galaxy is the hockey stick galaxy is right beside it. Now the Whale Galaxy is just, it's just under 15 minutes of arc, so that's about half the size of the full moon on, on its long axis. So you will be able to pick it up quite easy and it's quite bright as well because it has that tapered shape. The, the light is, is uh, quite concentrated into that edge on structure. So you'll see it quite well in any size telescope, even a small telescope will pick up that, that kind of light streak that it creates. And then the hockey stick galaxy is a little dimmer but it's kind of got the same shape to it and it's overall it's nearly the same length but half of it is quite dim dust so you have that little hockey stick shape so it looks about half the size now Keynes Venetizi is full of galaxies there's some fantastic galaxies in it and the whale galaxy is no exception because it makes a really nice pairing with the hockey stick galaxy NGC 4656 and it also has a little elliptical um, companion galaxy 4627 uh, similar to the way Andromeda has its little satellite galaxies. It's a really interesting galaxy to view because it has some bright regions in it from star, star formation and it has some dimmer regions and some dust regions in it and it has this tapered shape which gives it the name of the whale galaxy. The Hockey Stick Galaxy is quite fascinating, NGC 4656. It's got a little hook off the end of it, and it used to be thought to be a, a, a more distant galaxy, but now it's, it's thought to be the, a, a, almost like a little companion galaxy that's hanging off the end of it, and it gives it that little hook shape. Uh, in long exposure photos, you can just kind of see the dust lane uh, sending out. They've been interacting with each other for the whale galaxy and the hockey stick galaxy so the, this, the gas has been kind of twisted around and, and moved around a good bit but it's really interesting to you can pick out that little hook shape and see it. Now the two of them, uh, the whale galaxy and the hockey stick galaxy make a lovely pairing because they're just under 30, they're just about 30 minutes of arc apart which is about the size of the full moon. So if your equipment can get the full moon into it, you're going to get this pairing into a nice and uh, nice little framing. The camera I was using the, and the telescope at a thousand millimeters, I just, you could just fit them in and then I did another photo then with the monochrome camera on the 82 millimeter to try to get a field of view of both of them in it. So I observed this over a couple of nights with my 12 inch uh, reflector and it was on a manual dob mount and I found it to be a fantastic target to look at. It's a lovely pairing. The two of them are just 30 minutes of arc apart which is just about the size of the full moon. So if you can fit the full moon into your eyepiece with a bit of room to spare, you're gonna make a lovely, uh, you're gonna be able to frame these two in a lovely pairing. The whale galaxy is fantastic to look at. It's got a lovely star forming region in the center of it, and it gives it a real kind of a, a diamond structure to it. And you, when you're looking at it with um, averted vision, it's kind of like the center of a globular cluster, the way it'll kind of blink, blink in and out. And it's very, very nice. 
and you can watch you can watch for the little star there's wolf 1141 is just off the edge of the whale galaxy and then there's also a little elliptical galaxy companion in ngc 4627 which is very very nice to try to try to hunt down it's quite dim now the whale galaxy overall is bright and patchy and it has it's about 15 minutes of arc on the long axis which is about half the size of the full moon so you can kind of take that into account when you're using your eyepieces of how large it will be because say if you have light pollution or that it's hard to tell how how large it should look but um just kind of compare it to the size that you use for a full moon and then you can you can kind of work back from that and then when you're looking at it, you'll see just on the north side, there's a star sitting right on the edge. That's Wolf 1141. And in that direction, if you just continue on, you'll see a tiny little patch. And that's the elliptical dwarf galaxy. It's a companion galaxy to the whale galaxy. And it is NGC 4627. Now that's quite tough to pick out, but it is it's it's quite close so you will pick it up it's similar to the way m32 and m110 orbit andromeda 30 arc minutes away then in the direction southeast so that's opposite to wolf 114 that's where the hockey stick galaxy is located now this is a very interesting galaxy it's a very interesting shape because it just has that little hook and it has a really soft a soft um extension past the hook as well which well i couldn't pick it up visually but i did pick it up in the photographs which was quite interesting that little hook shape then has its own um catalog designation it's 4657 and that's just a large star forming region that sits off the galaxy Now it's quite asymmetrical and that's because the whale galaxy and the hockey stick galaxy are actually distorting each other. I really enjoy these targets. I think the whale and the hockey stick are well worth a visit. Uh, visually they show up really well in the 12 inch and even in smaller aperture you can still see a good bit um, of the detail with the two. They make a lovely pairing and just being 30 arc minutes apart they're quite tight so you can put a good bit of magnification on them before you, you're down to just viewing one in the eyepiece. Thanks so much for watching and I do hope you can let me know if you observe or take a photograph of the whale or the hockey stick and how you get on. Until next time, clear skies.